Hello church, we're going to start preparing you for the Lord's Supper on Sundays, not by a weekly email, but rather a short video where we discuss a particular element by which you could consider for preparation and that it would be something that would get you ready to think about Sunday. Remember like Sunday begins on Monday. We are planning a meeting with the Lord every week and part of that is covenant renewal where we see the lord through his signs re-covenanting with us not make another covenant with us but affirming the covenant anew with us one thing i want to read from you from larger catechism 170 it says how do they that worthily communicate on the lord's supper feed upon the body and blood of christ earn? as the body and blood of christ are not cor corporally were carnally present in, with, or under the bread and wine in the Lord's Supper, yet they are spiritually present to the faith of the receiver. No less truly and really than the elements themselves are the outward senses, so they that worthily communicate in the sacrament of the Lord's Supper do therein feed upon the body and blood of Christ, not after a corporal and carnal, but in a spiritual manner, yet truly and really, while by faith they receive and apply themselves to Christ crucified and all the benefits of his death. So we're not Lutheran, where we believe that Christ is physically present in, with, and under the bread. Uh, we are not Baptists that believe that Christ is not present at all in the sacraments. We are Presbyterians who believe the Bible teaches that Christ is spiritually present. We, we spiritually feed on Christ. We spiritually encounter Christ as the Holy Spirit through the words and the signs enables us to commune with the Lord in heaven through his signs of grace. So I want you to think this week that on Sunday, you're not going to consider the Lord as he is in heaven, absent from the assembly. The Lord is in heaven, but he is with us. He is near to us, and we are encountering him experientially in the word preached, in the song sung, and particularly in the signs of grace. So in light of the fact that you're going to meet with the Lord this week, you are going to dwell with him covenantally as a people, you should be living your lives in a manner that is worthy of the gospel. You should be living a life of holiness as you go to seek to encounter the God who is holy. And also, as you consider the Lord who is holy, who you are going to meet with and truly encounter, uh, you should consider your sins and your errors throughout the week that you will bring to the Lord as you are reminded of his grace in words and signs. And lastly, what I would say, the Lord is truly present with his people in a distinct way, not in the same way that he's omnipresent, but there is something special about God's presence in the assembly. Uh, then you should do everything, beloved, to prepare yourselves to be there to not be participating in the signs of grace that is to, in some sense, miss something of the presence of God as he is uniquely there. So I hope you are ready and I hope to enjoy the Lord through signs and word this Sunday with you.